Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I am a teacher, a guide in Sacramento, California. I'm going into my 13th year in the classroom. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so excited, a little emotional about being able to say that I am back, like I'm back in the classroom. I wanna show you the classroom setup and kind of go over a couple of new things because I'm teaching at a different school this year. The school that I teach at is very Montessori based. So we actually call the classroom a studio and we call our students heroes because we are working off of hero's journey. I can go into more detail and elaborate on that a little bit later. Our first day of school is tomorrow. So if you're watching this, we've already had our first day. We are remodeling the entire campus and the studios are all ready at this point. So we're ready for our launch tomorrow to start the school year. But the rest of the campus is like total construction zone. We are so excited because projects are happening and getting done and it's just so awesome. So anyways, I'm gonna do a classroom tour. I'm gonna just dive right in. I'm gonna show you what I've set up. Recognize a lot of the stuff from my previous classroom, but then you're gonna see a lot of new stuff. It's not from my previous classroom, that is from this current school. So let me turn you around and show you the studio. Here we go. So why don't I start with this little space? So this is kind of my teacher desk and it's super crowded. These are bins that I'm gonna use for tomorrow for supplies to sort and organize supplies. Um, these are Ikea cups that I've just hooked onto my filing cabinet. It's my teacher toolbox. That's in my um, teacher's pay teacher store. I can link that down below. Um, these are gonna be probably our Chromebook holders and hopefully they fit. I'm gonna put birthdays up there. And then I've got Ikea bins. These bins are gonna be set out tomorrow so that parents can organize school supplies. I've got my displays. I will link all of these. I like the real life pictures because it makes that real life connection. These are gonna be, these are bins from Walmart and I've got them numbered. Um, and these are just gonna be assigned to the students. So this is gonna basically house their portfolios and SEL binders and um, kind of act as like a portfolio bin. Um, but then also we'll have some of their handwriting with tiers and um, that kind of thing. This is all just storage. This is like the community supplies area. So right now everything's kind of empty, but we're gonna be putting supplies in here so that the heroes can just come up and grab what they need. I've done that years past and I feel like that's just the most efficient way. And then I also have this crayon organizer. I got these from Hobby Lobby and I just organized them by color. Um, these are all my crayons. Students are gonna be coming tomorrow with a bunch of their crayons and so we'll organize all of that. This year, so these are stickers, stickers, the storage, these are melty beads. Years prior, I've used this as an incentive wheel. I have it, I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it this year. I'm gonna ask the heroes what they wanna do with that. And then this year, I had some parent volunteers come in and organize my library. So I just made stickers for each of the shelves and then put a sticker on each of the books. And I didn't do this, they did this. I still need stickers for all the books down here, but that's that. So oh my goodness, this is like my favorite area, okay. I'm gonna go into this in more depth and detail. Diane Alber, who's the author behind all of the Spot series books. So all of these um, sent me her curriculum for um, SEL, for social emotional learning, and all of the books and the flashcards and all of the plushies and, and everything. And we've got a mirror here and um, all the posters for all the different emotions. And so this is gonna be basically kind of like a calming corner.
And this is just gonna be kind of a flexible seating area. I have some activities set out on each of the tables for tomorrow. My chairs are not up yet, but, um, but this area for the most part is just gonna kind of be flexible seating options. So they can take a pillow. Um, we are waiting on the rug. Some of the items from that had to be shipped overseas are just on back order because of the pandemic. And so um, there'll be a rug here. I put some growth mindset um, positive mindset, retrain your brain posters up. Those are from Lakeshore. Pillows are from Lakeshore from back in the day when I did, I was a Lakeshore ambassador. So they actually sent those to me along with that chair. That was a couple years ago. Um, more books. So we've got different categories, numbers and cultures and bugs, educational, free reading. So there's just lots and lots of books. These are all books that I've purchased from Goodwill. You guys, it's like the best place to get books in my opinion. We went through and I think I have about 500 books. So we sorted and organized those. Then we have a clock with the schedule. That's not completed. I'm gonna complete that after this. Calendar time, this is all Lakeshore stuff. We're gonna do, my season's thing fell down, so I gotta fix that. Weather, dress for the weather, numbers, and then our jobs. And then over here is like a little uh, small group table. On this entire wall is going to be a white board. So we're waiting on those to come in. That's one of the things that was on back order. Um, this is a hundreds chart and I love these. Um, it's basically a puzzle. So you know like the pixel art puzzles. So like you'll put number 90 on number 90 on there and then you basically build a picture. So this is a resource that I made with my friend Dee Dee Wills. I'll link it down below. So then I have these rolling shelves. And because we are Montessori based, there's just a lot of like sensory, um, you know, sensory sand activities that are in trays that they can kind of choose. You'll notice some of these are resources that I've made. put activities at each table and I will plan on writing like the math table and the art table and the language table and um, that kind of thing and give them some more direction. And cabinets, the deepest cabinets ever. So there's my Cricut, there's handwriting with tears, paper, a printer setup area. I wanted my printer kind of tucked away so I had them drill, drill a little hole in the cabinet. Um, we have six outlets in the classroom so it makes it a little bit tricky because they're only on either wall. So that makes it a little tricky. So anyways, this worked out great. We've got teacher resources, paper. This is all my brain spring phonics first curriculum. I'll be using, this is all the costumes. These are such fun activities. I can't wait to pull this out. And then just like teacher resources, birthday stuff, bunch of curriculum, Montessori. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest ever. It's practical life. It's a Montessori based curriculum. So basically the students will learn how to sew on a button and how to pour from a pitcher into a cup without spilling and all the things that are practical life lessons that they're gonna need to be successful in life. It's like the foundation. Um, then a bunch of other curriculum and directed drawings and um, and then my, my five laminators and two paper jabbers. Um, this area is gonna actually be a sink. So they're gonna come back and install a sink, which is great because we have an art easel. So I partnered with Quick Sticks. I can link these down below, but Quick Stick, is, they're not sponsoring this video. They did a different sponsored post, but um, they sent me all these Quick Sticks. And so these are basically tempera paint sticks. So we'll clip a piece of paper here and then they'll be able to um, basically paint without the mess. And then once I get paint from all the heroes, then I'll fill these up. Just a quick tip, if you put a Ziploc bag inside the cup and then pour the paint inside the Ziploc bag, cleanup is so much quicker. So I'm waiting on all those resources to get here. Then I have like a paint drying rack. I think that's probably gonna go outside the majority of the time. And then my friend Michelle, who is the guide next door, she is with the elementary studio, um, got me a real life plant 
That's so sweet. Okay, that's like the really, really quick version of the classroom. I really wish I would have had time to kind of do vlogging as the classroom progressed, but I just didn't have time this year. Um, I've done that in years past and I just didn't have time this year. So hopefully this will suffice and um, we are just gonna dive right into next school year and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. You can follow me on Instagram. I do kind of daily stories over there and then I share best tips and practices. And anyways, if you are new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can like this video, comment down below. What is one of your favorite areas in the classroom? Do a real quick sweep. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.